If you've got back problems, shoulder problems, or you're just not strong enough to hook up a PTO shaft to your tractor, today's video is for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. As promised, this is Tool Tuesday and we're doing a quick review slash overview of the Tractor PTO Link. This is Tractor PTO Link. It's awesome, man. So the way this thing works, you're gonna get to see it all in action. I've used this for about a year and a half on the farm, maybe two years. I've used it on the manure spreader. I've used it with the rotary cutter. And today or tomorrow, we're gonna be working on Earl the tractor and we're going to put one on the tiller. This totally simplifies connecting your PTO shaft to your tractor. It totally simplifies it and it's good for folks with bad backs, which a lot of us have, bad backs, bad shoulders, all that stuff. So this is how quick and easy it is to connect. Did you see that? That's how quick it's going to be for you to hook up a PTO shaft. Boom. Done. Awesome. Except for that pin. You got to put that pin in too. That's it. Easy. No grease. No dirt. Let's have some fun. Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. Alright guys, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time, please pound that like button, jump in, consider subscribing to the channel. This is Tool Tuesday. We like to do a tool feature every Tuesday if we possibly can get it done. And today's tool is the PTO link. Tractor PTO link did send this out to me, okay? They sent me enough to go on all my tractors that fit the horsepower range and the size. There are certain tractors that this will not work on. So go on there, the smaller John Deere tractors with the shorter spline. So if your tractor has a shorter spline shaft coming out of the PTO on the rear of the tractor, this may or may not work. I'll post a link to the PTO link website down there for you so you guys can figure it out. I do know that in the works there is a heavier duty one that will take uh, over 100 horsepower tractors but I think for now this unit right here is rated for horsepower under 100. So here's how it works. This is super super simple. We're going to show you both ends and then we're going to show you over here on the tractor. Okay so you have this end. This is the male end and this goes into the shaft so the shaft that comes off of the rotary cutter right here slips over this okay it's locked into place it's permanently affixed to that unit okay this just sits there it's always there okay then the female end goes on the tractor so this would butt up right to the rear of the tractor snaps right into place you pull this back this snaps right in you can see the little uh keepers in there see them down in there little ball bearings that's what holds it in place locks it into place so this is on your tractor this is on your implement and instead of having to slip back this collar all the time on an implement all you have to do is simply put this together twist it like that it's locked into place right there there it is boom locked into place and you push this little pin through the back so it's double locked it's locked there and it's locked there and that's it so instead of wrestling with a collar and a greasy, greasy, nasty PTO shaft, all you have to do is lock it into place. I'll show you again, and then we'll show you on the tractor. So we pull this pin out, it's a locking pin. We lift this, this is how easy it is to disconnect, <laughs> just like that, okay? So instead of pulling back collars and slipping and fighting and turning your PTO shaft, all you have to do is go in these little teardrop holes, lock it into place, just like so, twist it, it's locked right there, and then we'll slide this pin in from the back side. Back side's this side, tractor side. Cool, let's go over to the tractor. So the tractor PTO link is already in place on this tractor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble it, and this is a one-time assembly process that you'll have to go through when you buy one. Um, there's this little pin that I have to push down right here. It's tough to push that little pin down, okay? tough on your thumbs, you got gloves on, you got grease all over this. This is almost a new implement, so it's not really too awful greasy. But there's a detent pin, and we'll pull that off. See that? What a pain in the butt, okay? Oh, jiggle, 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 trying to get it off. Um, come on, dude. Okay, for real. <laughs> this is a real life demonstration of what a pain in the butt it is sometimes to get your PTO shaft off. So, I'm gonna take the PTO link off. See that? 
you'll never have to wrestle with that again. This is unplanned, totally unplanned. Everything should go smooth. <laughs> so let's take the pin out. We'll remove the PTO link quick attach, just like so. There it is, boom, quick attach. Here's our pin. We're gonna show you, <laughs> man, that was a pain in the butt. That was unplanned, totally unplanned, unscripted, real life. We're gonna take the PTO link off the tractor. This is how simple it is. Boom, it's off the tractor. Now, let's wrestle this heavy PTO shaft and try and line up the splines and everything. Oh, this PTO shaft is giving me a hassle, a bit of a hassle here. Come on, there it is, okay. So you gotta turn it and get it lined up just right, then mash that detent in. Hopefully, this hasn't been sitting out in the weather or that detent <laughs> is gonna be a pain in the butt. I don't know how many of you guys have ever hit one of these with a hammer, but I have for sure. Let's get a little close up, I'll show you. So this is the detent that I'm talking about. You gotta push this pin in to release. In other words, you have to lift the heavy PTO shaft. See how much of a pain in the butt that is? You have to lift the shaft Line up the splines correctly, just like so. Then rotate and mash that in again and wiggle it and jiggle it till it goes all the way up on there. Let's just do it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's got our PTO shaft locked on. Now, let's install PTO link. Here's how easy it is to install. Grab it, slide the collar back, Boom, it's on, okay? Now, for our implement, we're just gonna drop in into our seven spline, and you won't have to do this but one time. I think it's a seven spline. Okay, mash the button, it locks into place. Line up your teardrop holes just like so. Hook it back up, line up your teardrop holes, give it a twist, it's locked into place, and it's on there. You don't have to wrestle the long PTO shaft and you don't have to fight these splines. You don't have to get it all lined up so perfectly. It makes it easier on your back and your shoulders. So that's it. That's real world. That's what tractor PTO link is. That's it. That's all it is. Very, very simple, but it simplifies the process of hooking up your tractor implements. Super duper simple. Instead of fighting all the grease, all the mess, the weight of the PTO shaft and getting that spline lined up appropriately, all you gotta do is plug it in together, just like so, turn it, lock it into place, and slide your pin in the back. That's it. Much simpler, much easier. If you've got shoulder troubles, back troubles, if your husband, your grandpa, whoever's out there mowing, hooking up uh, hay balers, hay mowers, all sorts of stuff, Man, it makes it so much easier when you've got, especially when you've got old equipment and that stubborn PTO shaft won't go on. If you've got rusty old equipment, all you gotta do is put this critter on there. Again, this is so simple. I, I wish I was the one that thought of this, guys. That, that's it. That's how you hook up the PTO shaft from now on. Why shouldn't, shouldn't every PTO shaft already be like this? I mean, shouldn't it already be like that? Post some comments down there. Tell me what you think. Do you think that's simple? Do you think it's easy? Do you think you have a relative, a grandparent, a parent, uh, somebody with shoulder troubles, with back troubles or something like that you think that could use this? If you've ever hooked up a three-point implement with a PTO shaft, you fought it. I know you have because I have. I've had to fight these three-point implements like this with the PTO shaft. Anything, wood chipper, tiller, all that stuff. Now, you will have to shorten your PTO shaft on some smaller equipment like a tiller or a, well, a rototiller or a, uh, a wood chipper, something that has a fairly short PTO shaft. You're gonna have to take a chunk out of that and all that's in the instructions with the PTO link. I think it's about five to five and a half inches uh, of space that this thing takes up. You'll have to shorten your PTO shaft. If you bought a new tractor and you didn't already know it, the dealership had to adjust your PTO shaft length. So whenever you buy a new piece of equipment, you're gonna have to make that adjustment anyway. So if you got the PTO link already, all you gotta do is buy one male end for each tractor you have. And I think we've got five tractors on the farm and then a female end for each implement. And that's it, pretty cool.
Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on Tool Tuesday. I'm a fan, I think it's cool. I'll post a link down in the video description. I'll reach back out to PTO Link and see if they'll hook us up with a uh, coupon code for Stony Ridgers. So that'd be awesome. Guys, thanks a lot. Pound the like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. This is real world what PTO Link is. Now PTO Link did send this out to me, um, but I'm not getting paid to give them a positive review. I'm just showing you guys how it works. That's how it works. Cool? Thanks a lot. See you next time. All right? Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here in Sweden.